fires. It wasn't intentional. That's deep, and it is gone. A three-run homer. We told you Willie loves hitting against the White Sox. That's a worthy bat flip right there, too. <laughs> the bat's higher than the ball. Get it. Oh. <laughs> Feels like okay. intent, doesn't it? Yep. Sure does. Don't argue. Don't say anything. Just respond. Let your pitcher take care of it. Unfortunately, I think what's going to happen is they're going to issue a warning Because now. of the chirping, yeah. I think if, if the Cubs bench had stayed quiet, um, maybe they could have retaliated. I'm without, looking in his, an ejection. his bio here, and I don't see Cordero is apparently a big fan of the movie Grease and of the Thunderbirds. <laughs> you can see that. The way he wears his uniform. They kicked him out. Yes. Okay. Well, that, that's that's well within their right, too. That, they, that's good right umpires. Right? That's good umpiring right there. We got this. Yeah, Don yeah. Cooper is. Cooper's going to get run. Yeah. Ricky's going to get run. Ricky's already run because his pitcher got run. I believe you're right. Yep, that's automatic. And you, again, you, you don't have to have issued a warning to make that call. If it, at any point, if the umpire feels like the pitcher is throwing intentionally at the hitter, they have the right to eject the pitcher. Is it possible that ball just got away from Cordero? Yeah, it sure is. But if I'm umpiring, Based on what has transpired here tonight, I'm assuming that's intentional. Yeah, I'd rather see this than warnings because this will stop it in most cases. I think the warning is kind of irrelevant. You think guys are not going to throw after warnings? They want to hit somebody. Well, yeah, hit they want somebody. To, yeah. So now Cordero's like, well, some, I wasn't warned. Some, some well, you're guys, out of the game some anyway. Guys, some guys are hesitant to, uh, to pitch inside. The Sox have had the same umpiring crew for three series out of four. And when you have the same people working together, and it's Angel Hernandez who's really getting a face full now from Ricky Renteria, you have the same people. Chase this Brian ends up not being pitcher. about this specific situation. No, Ricky's going to go so back Ricky out knows. to Dan Bellino. Well, I don't think you want to put your hands no, I, on him. Yeah. I think that's one thing that you want to get out of the arsenal. And I think he was and out anyway. Jay, I, I think that Ricky probably argues long enough to get tossed. We'll see. Pleading his case to Bellino, then Angel, then back to Bellino. Don Cooper likely won't be long for this one either. Well, for those Cub fans who don't know, uh, Tim Anderson uh, last year with a emphatic bat flip against uh, Kansas City, right? That uh, was a big topic around baseball, and you know, some have embraced uh, that, and others don't like it. I don't mind it if guys want to do whatever they want to do, but the problem is, and J.D., you, you, you said this off the air, that even though Anderson has done it in the past, there may be guys on the White Sox in terms of pitchers who still yeah, don't like yeah. that Contreras <laughs> did it, and they're going to yeah. freelance. Yeah, <laughs> you're exactly right. And that we get into that whole unwritten rules thing. Uh, you know, it, it used to be if, if you flipped the bat like Anderson or Wilson or so many guys do now, you were asking for trouble. Not all pitchers would hit you in retaliation, but some would. Some of the you're showing me up. So that that's kind of where we are at the game. In, in the game, there's some players that are fine with it, and fans I think enjoy it. That's so, showmanship, and some view it as fun. But sometimes when you're a player on the other end of that, you take umbrage. And you drill somebody. So if you do, you run the risk of being ejected. And Don Cooper got kicked out too. So yeah, you can see that one coming. Cooper's going to. Pitcher, manager, pitching coach. 